Welcome back to More Sip the Tally. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to take a look at the 2024 Baltimore Ravens schedule. Now, I have the schedule behind me. And what I'm going to do is go through the games, check off the wins and losses, and, you know, kind of give an overall pick of the, the season. And I normally do something a little different. I like to break the games down in, in quarters. You know, back before we added this extra game, we had 16 games. And in my mind, it was the first four games was your first quarter. Your second four games would be your second quarter, so forth and so on. But also to break it down a little bit further, I think the first four games are your feeling out stage. That's when you try to figure out what your team is. Like, what do you do well on offense? What do you do well on defense? Because at the end of the day, even though you got some of your core pieces back, you got to find out the role for the role players. So those first four games should be your fill out process when you're trying to get everything together and, and, and then go from there. The second quarter games, which will be your second four games, is when you start to to jail, when you when you realize what those role players do and you start putting them in place to, to make plays for you and do better. That's when you get your pieces and you line them up and you get your, your chess pieces just right to try to attack. That third four game is when you make your move. That's when you have to be ascending, like all the kinks should be worked out, worked out offensively, defensively they should be worked out, and you're starting to position yourself for a playoff run, which actually starts in that fifth quarter. Well, I'm sorry, not the fifth quarter, though, that fourth quarter, but that fourth quarter has five games. That's why I said fifth. That fourth quarter has five games. So in those last five games, that's when you're either solidifying your playoff position or you're trying to get healthy for the playoffs, one of the two. So in, in that last – Five games, if you don't have a legit playoff spot, you're fighting like hell to get a playoff spot. Or if you have a solidified playoff spot, you're trying to get healthy so you can have a good playoff run. It's either one of the two. You're either fighting like hell to get in or you got a spot you're trying to keep it and get healthy. It's, it's, it's a few other options out there depending on where your schedule, I'm sorry, where your, your record ranks at that time. But for the most part, those are the two main options right there. You're trying to get in or you're trying to stay healthy and keep your spot. So, but let's, at this point, let's take a look at the Baltimore Ravens schedule and see what I think is going to happen in the 2024 season. So we have this first quarter. This first quarter of games, starting off with KC, Las Vegas, Dallas, and Buffalo. And so the opening game, and I've always said that I don't think defensively we're going to be as good as we were to start the season. You know, we lost some guys. Lost coaches. I just think it's going to take Orr a minute to, to get his bearings about him as far as being a defensive coordinator. And I, and I honestly think we take that L right there. Week one. You know, in front of everybody, I understand. You know, and if we win, I'd be happy. But winning that game and losing that game don't mean a lot to me because it matters what we do after week 18. But because of – the new stuff coming together and you're still trying to figure out what your team is. And, and they probably trying to do the same thing too at Kansas City. But we just talked about us. I think we take that L. Mainly because of we got to figure out what we're going to do defensively. Offensively, I think we'll be all right. I think, I think we're going to score more points than we scored in the playoff game, but I also think they are too. All right, week two versus Vegas, I think we take that. I think we'll take that. So put us after week two at one and one. Uh, week three in Dallas. Um, why Dallas tickets so goddamn high? I'm trying to get that game, but they don't want to act right. But um, week two of Dallas could be a – I'm sorry, week three of Dallas could be an issue. Could be. Dallas has a pretty good team. We have a pretty good team. And their home field advantage is is crazy. But I think we take that. Going to Dallas, come out with a W. Now, Buffalo is the one that scares me. I think we get up for this game and, and, and play extremely well because it's in a big stadium. Well, not a big stadium. It's a big spotlight. Anytime you play the Cowboys, they're considered America's team. And I think we come back with a letdown right here. Well, I just we play up, then we play down. We play up, then we play down. I think we have a letdown versus the Bills. All right, so going in the first quarter, 
I think we're two and two. Now, the ceiling for that first quarter for me is three and one. And I think we could, you know, we could win this game and lose that one either way. But I think the the worst thing that could happen for us would be one and three. Like losing to Kansas City, losing to Buffalo, and losing to Dallas. And that puts us at one and three. That's the worst thing that could happen for us. Now, if we go 0 and 4, it's going to be some problems. It's going to be some problems. But right now, I got us at 2 and 2. Second quarter of the season, when you, you figured out like what your role players can do, now let's start putting them in place and, and making plays with them. All right, Cincinnati. This is the Cincinnati game at Cincinnati. And give us an L there. Going into Cincinnati, I know Joe, Bur Joe Burrow. I mean, I know Lamar has a good record versus Joe Burrow, but right now everybody's healthy. I'm saying, I'm assuming everybody's healthy. Everybody's what for what. I think we'll take an L there, but then we'll start to get. This is when I think the defense starts to get themselves together. I do. Washington will beat them. Tampa Bay, which is, I think I'm think I'm going to that one. I think I'm going to Tampa Bay. I think. Then we take a W at Tampa Bay, and then Cleveland. At Cleveland. They can play a lot of man, but I think we got answers for their mans this year. For their man coverage this year, not for their mans. And so second quarter, I think we go three and one. Second quarter, I think we go three and one, and that puts us totally five and what's that? Five and three. Five and three. So going into the you know halftime of the season, five and three. And I think we start to hit our stride over here in this third quarter. Third quarter, we got Denver. I think that's a W. Second game versus Cincy, I think that's a W. Uh, first game versus Pitt, and it's at Pitt. I'm gonna give us an L there. And then the game versus the Chargers in Los Angeles, I think we got a W there. So again, third quarter, third quadrant of the season, I think we go three and one. And that puts us at what? Two, five, eight, eight and, eight and four. Eight and four with five games left, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Then we get down here to Philly. Philly's going to be tough. Especially, you know, we consider everybody being healthy. Philly's going to be tough. I think we can pull it out, though. First matchup with Jalen and, and Lamar, we pull it out. Giants, I think, not going to be very good. Take that W. Pittsburgh, the second time at home. Take that W. Houston on Christmas Day. Houston on Christmas Day. Man, why'd that game have to be on Christmas? I know for ratings-wise, it's going to be huge. Me personally, I would rather it have not been on Christmas. But we'll see. We'll see. So that's going to be a big one, man. That's going to be a big one. And I think, like, we had that last run at the end of the year last year when we, you know, we went San Francisco and Miami and all them. I think that's, that happens here. I think that happens here when we get this W in Houston. If I can write the word W, right? And then I think at this point, you know, in the season, we're, we're, we're what? What's that? Four, five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I think this game don't really matter. And we take an L of Cleveland here. And that last five games, we go four and one. And that puts us totally at what? Two, five, eight, 12. 12 and two, three, four, five. 12 and 5 for the season. I think that puts us at 12 and 5 and maybe the second or third seed in the 2024 playoffs. Um, I, I fully think these guys are going to be number one seed again, and that's KC. But this is Coach Evans with the um, schedule breakdown. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tell me what you think about it. If you like it, put thumbs up in the uh, – I'm sorry, not hit the thumbs up button. So you can like the video. That's what I'm talking about. Now, if you think I went wrong somewhere, put it in the comments where you think I was wrong or where you think I was right. And, um, hey, man, we studied grinding. And I'll see y'all soon, man. We got the call-in show later so you can tell me how you feel about the schedule. So make sure you tune in for that and get your call on too. So I'll see y'all soon. Peace and love.